In this video, I'll be explaining the difference between sample libraries that are made for Contact and those made for Contact Player. So do subscribe for more videos like this and ring the bell to keep up to date with our notifications and latest deals. The first thing to know, Native Instruments Contact Sample Player comes in two versions, the free Contact Player and Contact, sometimes referred to as Contact Full or Contact Retail. Contact Player is free, just go to the Native Instruments website to download it. Contact Full is not free, you need to buy this as a standalone product from Native Instruments. Every sample library designed for Contact will run in Contact Full, but only some libraries will run in Contact Player. So what's the difference? Why doesn't every developer make all of their sample libraries available for the free Contact Player? It's because developers who opt for this Contact Player format must pay a licensing fee to Native Instruments and commit to purchasing a certain number of licenses. As a result, Contact Player libraries are often sold by larger, more established developers and they are a little bit higher priced than other libraries which use the full version of Contact. What that means for you is that you need to be careful before you buy a sample library Check the technical specifications and make sure that if you only have Contact Player, then the library is compatible with the player. Look for the graphics like these on the product page. They'll tell you if you need the full, paid version of Contact or if you can just use the free player. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to ring the bell to get notifications. Thanks for watching.